Section 16 of Chapter 7 of How to Analyze People on Sight. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Bill Mosley, Frelsberg, Texas, USA. How to Analyze People on Sight through the science of human analysis the five human types by elsie lincoln benedict and ralph payne benedict section sixteen of chapter seven part one vocations for alimentives as stated in chapter one alimentives are born for business they can sell almost anything in the line of food, clothing, or shelter because they are so interested in them themselves. They can make them interesting to others. They like money for the comforts which money alone can bring, and business furnishes a wider field for money-making than any other. So the Alimentive likes the commercial world for itself and for what it brings him sells things to people the alimentive can deal with both people and things but it should be in the capacity of selling the things to the people chances for money making the alimentives have the greatest opportunities today for making fortunes and many of the multimillionaires of america are combinations of this type with the cerebral this is due to the fact that the world must be fed clothed and sheltered and the alimentive more than any other type excels in the marketing manufacturing and merchandising of these things a good overseer the alimentive makes an excellent overseer also he is so genial likable and yet so bent on saving himself work that he can get more work out of others than can any other type so he succeeds as a foreman supervisor boss superintendent manager and sales department head capitalizes his comfort instincts the alimentive loves comforts he feels he must have them because any man's success will be found to lie in the direction which most nearly satisfies his basic instincts the alimentive succeeds by making the good things of life look so interesting to others they are willing to buy them from him at the best prices the alimentively inclined every man who is largely alimentive in type can sell commodities or oversee the work of others every woman who is largely alimentive can also sell the same commodities oversee the work of others in her department and become a good cook things to avoid the alimentive should avoid vocations dealing exclusively with ideas books are almost the only things an alimentive cannot sell successfully this is due to the fact that he is not as interested in ideas as in things and the things he is interested in food and comforts are the farthest removed from books partners to select when he goes into partnership, the alimentive should endeavor to do so with a practical, muscular, a clever, thoracic, or another alimentive. Partners and employees to avoid. He should avoid as partners the pure cerebrals and the pure osseous. The former are too highbrow and visionary for him, and the osseous are too critical of his easy ways bosses to avoid the alimentive when looking for employment should try to avoid the boss who is a pure cerebral or a pure osseous the cerebral may be a good planner but his plans and those of the alimentives will not work well together the cerebral cannot see the alimentive's point of view clearly enough to forgive him for his too primitive methods the pure osseous boss soon becomes disgusted because the alimentive is so lacking in system. He usually comes out all right in the end, but the orderly osseous 
is too exasperated by what he considers the alimentive's slackness to wait for the end. Localities to avoid The alimentive should avoid all frontiers. He cannot work well without conveniences, and since these are few and far between in unsettled regions, it is much more difficult for him to be a success there. Vocations for Pure Alimentives Cooking, catering, nursing, merchandising of all food and drink stuffs, the conducting of cafes, restaurants, hotels, cafeterias, restrooms, and all places maintained for the ease, comfort, and feeding of mankind are the general vocations for pure or extreme alimentives. Vocations for Alimentive Thoracics The merchandising of the artistic, novel, and aesthetic in food, clothing, and shelter, conducting of tea rooms, confectionery stores, smart specialty and clothing shops, salesmanship of restricted residence districts, fancy cars, etc. Vocations for Alimentive Musculars the merchandising of more practical commodities such as potatoes, meat, middle-class homes, durable clothing. Alimentive muscular women make excellent dressmakers. Vocations for the Alimentive Osseous Merchandising of farms, ranches, timber, lumber, hardware, bond salesmanship. Vocations for Alimentive Cerebrals Merchandising, manufacturing, and marketing of food, clothing, and shelter commodities on a large scale in world markets. This type combination exists in most of the world's millionaires. Part 2. Vocations for Thoracics The thoracic type works best with people. Every person in whom this type predominates will make his greatest success only in vocations bringing him into contact with people. The Born Entertainer As we have pointed out, the thoracic is a born entertainer. His greatest abilities lie in the direction of the stage and all forms of its activities. Capitalizes his approbative instincts. The thoracic loves the approval and applause of others. He is clever, dazzling, often scintillating, brilliant, and magnetic. All these enable him to win fame behind the footlights, upon the screen, and in many lines of theatrical work. His gregarious instincts also enable him to make a success of work with others. Chances for Money-Making His chances for making a great deal of money are excellent. A thousand dollars a week is not an unusual salary for an entertainer, and the thousand-dollar-a-night singer is no longer a rarity. These always belong to the thoracic type, for reasons stated in Chapter 2. Chances for Money Spending But when the stage gives him a large income, it also furnishes the companions and temptations for spending money freely. Even the thoracic of fame seldom has much money. Also, his own irresponsibility makes it difficult for him to save. Work to avoid. The thoracic should avoid every line of work, which has to be done the same way day in and day out. He must avoid routine in every form. Monotonous work is not for him. Things to avoid. Things the thoracic must avoid are the mechanical for these demand to be used in the same way always. The thoracic does not like to do anything over and over. Should not work alone. The thoracic should never work alone. He should not go into any vocation where he is separated from his fellows. The loneliness and drabness of working away from people are fatal to his best effort. Business Partners to Select the thoracic should select muscular business partners because of their practicalizing influence. Second choice for him is an alimentive partner, 
and third is a thoracic like himself. Partners and employees to avoid. The thoracic should avoid osseous employees and osseous partners, for the reason that this type can no more understand the thoracic than it can understand the easy-going alimentive. These two types are at opposite ends of the pole, and to blend them harmoniously in any relationship is almost impossible. The thoracic employer, who always wants things done instantly, is maddened by the slow, unadaptable osseous employee. Bosses to avoid. For the reason stated above, every thoracic person should avoid working for extremely bony people. The osseous is as much irritated by the rapid-fire reactions of the thoracic employee as the thoracic is by the slowness of the osseous. Localities to avoid. The thoracic individual should avoid all localities which would cut him off from his kind. He should never, except when combined with the osseous in type, live in remote regions, on the edge of civilization, or too far away from neighbors. Companionship is always essential to his happiness and success. Locations for the Pure Thoracics Art, advertising, comic opera, grand opera, concert singing, the stage, the screen, and all forms of high-class reception work are the lines for pure thoracics. For thoracic alimentives, medicine, merchandising of artistic, aesthetic commodities, life insurance, moving pictures, novelty salesmanship, and demonstrating. For thoracic musculars, vocal and instrumental music, interior decoration, politics, social service, advertising, athletics, and design. For thoracic osseous, landscape gardening, scientific research, the ministry. For thoracic cerebrals, authorship, private secretaryship, education, journalism, musical composition, publicity work, photography. Part 3. Locations for Musculars The muscular works best with things. He does not sell them as well as does the alimentive, for the things he is interested in are not the things that sell, but the things that move. He likes to work with high-powered cars, machinery of all kinds, and everything that involves motion. These things, though necessities sometimes, and luxuries occasionally, are not such necessities as food, clothing, and homes. Therefore there is no such market for them. The automobile has almost made itself a necessity, but even it is not yet as necessary to human happiness as food, clothing, or shelter. THE BORN MECHANIC AND INVENTOR The muscular is the born mechanic and inventor. He enjoys working with things he can handle, mold, change, construct, and improve with his powerful, efficient hands. Most of the mechanics in the world are musculars, and every inventor has the muscular element strongly marked in him. CHANCES FOR MONEY-MAKING the muscular's chances for making money are not as great as those of the alimentive, for the reason that he deals best with things the world can sometimes get along without. His money-making chances are not as great as those of the thoracic, for he is not fitted to win the public favor, which comes to the latter. Also, the muscular's vocations are not as well paid as those of the two former types unless his inventions are successful. The Orator Oratory furnishes one of the best fields for the muscular's money-making and fame-achieving opportunities. Every man and woman who has acquired fame or fortune on the public platform has much of the muscular type in his makeup, always, however, in combination with the cerebral. Capitalizes his activity instincts as shown in chapter three 
the muscular like the other types capitalizes his chief instinct in his case it is the instinct of activity the muscular likes activity so he likes work and because he is a good worker he nearly always has work to do the muscularly inclined every person muscularly inclined can make a success at something of a practical nature in the handling running driving constructing or inventing of machinery things to avoid the muscular should avoid all vocations which confine him within small areas pin him down to inactivity or sedentary work business partners to select the musculars should select musculars as their first choice in business partners with cerebral second and thoracics third partners and employees to avoid the muscular should avoid the osseous partner the osseous boss and the osseous employee because his pugnacity makes it almost impossible for him to work harmoniously with this type localities to avoid the muscular can work in almost any locality but he should avoid every place which keeps him too closely confined locations for pure musculars the driving of high-powered cars airplanes machinery of all kinds and work with his hands are the lines in which the average muscular is most often successful other lines for him are construction civil engineering mechanics professional dancing acrobatics athletics and pugilism women of this type make splendid physical culture teachers and expert swimmers for muscular alimentives the manufacturing and selling of practical foods clothing and shelter also politics for muscular thoracics advertising sculpture osteopathy athletics exploration medicine baritone and tenor singing instrumental music politics social service transportation designing and dentistry for muscular osseous construction bridge building office law policemen and policewomen mechanics and mining for muscular cerebrals architecture art journalism trial or jury law oratory surgery transportation teachers and tragedians also come from this type part four locations for the osseous the osseous man or woman can do his best work with things those with which he works best are lands forests the sea the plains mountains and certain kinds of mechanical things instead of combining things and people in his work like the alimentive machines and people like the muscular or people only like the thoracic the osseous must not only confine himself almost exclusively to working with things but he must work with them away from the interference or interruption or superintendence of other people capitalizes his independence instinct the osseous like other types succeeds in work which automatically brings into play his basic instincts his fundamental instinct is that of independence he never succeeds signally in any line of work in which this instinct is repressed or thwarted he chafes against restriction he enjoys mastering a thing and when let alone to work in his own way he makes an excellent employee as has been stated he is the steadiest of all chances for money-making chances for the osseous to make a great deal of money are few unless he confines himself to finance working as exclusively with money as possible or to dealing with natural resources the osseous seldom becomes rich 
he cares more for money than any of the other types saves a much larger portion of what he earns and no matter how rich is seldom extravagant his greatest obstacle to money-making is his tendency to hang on to whatever he has awaiting the rise in prices which never go quite high enough to suit him an osseous friend of ours has lived for forty years on almost nothing while holding for a fabulous price an old residential corner on a desirable block of a downtown street in one of the large american cities he could have sold it years ago for enough to make him comfortable for life to give him travel leisure comforts and self-expression but he refused as has been pointed out before each individual prefers the self-expression common to his type this man has found more of what is real self-expression to him in defying the destruction of this building and the march of commerce in that neighborhood and in opposing prospective buyers than all the money bought comforts in the world could have given him so he has worked away as a draftsman at a small salary eight hours a day for those forty years he is unmarried and has no brothers or sisters when he dies remote relatives whom he has never seen and who care nothing for him will sell the property and have a good time on the money but they will have no better time spending it than he has had saving it those who are inclined to the osseous every person with a large osseous element is capable of saving money of being a faithful worker under right conditions and of withstanding hardship in his work difficult missions into pioneer regions are successful only when entrusted to men or women who have the osseous as one of their first two elements the north pole it is a significant fact that all the men who have made signal efforts at finding the north and south poles have possessed the bony as a large proportion of their makeup no extremely fat man has ever attempted such a thing missionaries it is also interesting to note that the most successful missionaries have had a larger than average bony system and that all those who go into the extreme edges of civilization and stay there any length of time are largely of this type other types plan to become missionaries and some get as far as to be sent somewhere but those who stick who spend years in the far corners of the earth are always largely osseous things to avoid the osseous must avoid all vocations demanding his constant or intimate contact with large numbers of people every kind of work that calls for instantaneous movements sudden adaptations to environment many or sudden decisions or crowded workrooms he must avoid working for with under or over others business partners to select the osseous should never have a partner if he can help it when he cannot help it he should choose a person of large cerebral tendencies for no other type will stand for his peculiarities partners and employees to avoid he should avoid above all things a partner who is osseous like himself an osseous always knows what he wants to do how he wants to do it and when and one of the requirements with him usually is that it must be the opposite of the thing manner and time desired by the other fellow so in business as in marriage two osseous people find themselves in unending warfare he should avoid the osseous employees also for the same reasons and choose the only types that will submit to his hard driving bosses to avoid the osseous should never work for a boss when he has brains enough to work alone he is so independent that it is almost impossible for him to take orders and the contrary streak in him runs so deep that he is just naturally against what others want him to do he is the most insubordinate of all types as an employee and as a boss is the most inexorable localities to avoid 
the osseous should avoid all congested communities he does not belong in the city except in some vocation where he handles money he seldom succeeds in a metropolis his field is the frontier the great open spaces of land sea forest and mountain where he works with things that grow that are not sensitive that do not offer human resistance to his imperious dominating nature vocations for pure osseous farming stock raising lumbering lighthouse keeping open sea fishing hardware saw milling and all pioneering activities are the vocations in which the unmixed osseous succeeds best for osseous alimentives work as a farmhand sheep or cattle herder or truck gardener are the lines in which this combination succeeds best he can do clerical work also for osseous thoracics agriculture carpentering railroading mining office law electrical and chemical engineering are the first choices for this combination both men and women of this type succeed on police forces also for osseous cerebrals the invention of intricate mechanical devices is something in which this combination often succeeds other lines for him are those of statistician mathematician proofreader expert accountant genealogist and banker part five vocations for cerebrals the cerebral man or woman can never be happy or successful until he is in work that deals with ideas but his planning is often impractical and for this reason he does not succeed when working independently as does the osseous capitalizes his cerebrative instinct the cerebral gets his name from the cerebrum or thinking part of the brain because this is the system most highly evolved in him his great size in the large-headed man causes it to dominate his life thus his chief instinct is cerebration dreaming meditating visualizing planning since these are the real starters of all progress this type should be encouraged with a view to making him more practical the born writer the brain system is large in all men and women who achieve distinction in writing or in other lines where the brain does most of the work unless combined with the muscular this man writes much better than he talks and usually avoids speech making when the muscular is combined with the cerebral, he will be an excellent lecturer or teacher. Chances for money-making The pure cerebral has the least likelihood of making money of any of the types, for the reasons stated in Chapter 5. If he is a pure cerebral, his ideas and writings, however brilliant, will seldom bring him financial independence unless he gets a muscular thoracic or alimentive business manager and strictly follows his directions the cerebrally inclined any person inclined to the cerebral type that is with a large wide high forehead or a large head for his body will succeed in some line of work where study and mental effort are required things to avoid the pure cerebral should avoid every kind of work that calls for manual or bodily effort physical strenuosity lifting of heavy things or the handling of large machines he should avoid every kind of work that gives no outlet for planning or thinking he should avoid being an employer because he sees the employee's viewpoint so clearly that he lives in his skin instead of his own this means that he does not get the service out of employees that other types get he is not fitted in any way to rule others dislikes to dominate them feels like apologizing all the time for compelling them to do things and is made generally miserable by this responsibility business partners to select 
the selection of a partner is one of greater importance to the cerebral than to any other type for it is almost impossible for him to work out his plans alone it is as necessary for the cerebral to have a partner as it is for the osseous not to have one this partner should be a person largely of the muscular type to supply the practicality the cerebral lacks as a second choice he should be of the thoracic type to supply the gregariousness which the cerebral lacks the third choice should be an osseous to supply the quality which can get work out of employees and thus make up for the lax treatment the cerebral tends to give his subordinates partners and employees to avoid though he succeeds well when he is himself a combination of alimentive and cerebral the pure cerebral should avoid partners and employees who are purely alimentive their ideas and attitudes are too far away from his own for them to succeed cooperatively localities to avoid the cerebral can work in any locality partly from the fact that every spot in the world interests him but he should avoid ranches livestock farms lumber camps construction gangs ditch digging and sawmilling jobs for he lacks the physical strength to stand up to them vocations for pure cerebrals education teaching library work authorship literary criticism and philosophy are the vocations best suited to the pure cerebral for cerebral alimentives this combination comprises the majority of the world's millionaires for it combines the intense alimentive desires for life's comforts with the extreme brain capacity necessary to get them so he becomes a magnet a man of big business and tends to high finance manufacturing and merchandising on a world scale for cerebral thoracics journalism the ministry teaching photography interior decorating magazine editing are among the vocations best suited to this type the best educational directors for large department stores and other establishments and some of the best comedians belong to this combination for cerebral musculars manual education trial or jury law invention of all kinds of machinery social service oratory teaching lecturing and nose and throat surgery are the best lines of work for this combination for cerebral osseous authorship finance statistics invention of complex mechanical devices expert accounting and mathematics are the best lines for this combination so here then endeth the five human types being the first volume in the world to expound science's discovery that all human beings fall into five definite divisions according to their biological evolution by l c lincoln benedict first writer and publisher of this classification first lecturer in the world to present it to the public and first compiler of the science of human analysis also by ralph payne benedict whose knowledge and cooperation inspire the doing of all these printed and made into a book by the roycrofters at their shops which are at east aurora erie county and state of new york in the year nineteen hundred and twenty one End of section 16 of chapter 7 End of How to Analyze People on Sight Through the Science of Human Analysis The Five Human Types by Elsie Lincoln Benedict and Ralph Payne Benedict